All right, today we're talking about jewelry findings. Uh, I'm gonna talk about how you can make jump rings, S-hooks, and spirals to begin with. These are all three different types of shapes that you can make using wire, and they help with different types of things. So here we have an S-hook. If you notice, it's attaching the thread to your pendant. Uh, this one is, it's hard to see, but it is a jump ring. So it's a, another way of attaching your pendant uh, to your thread. And then the last one is a spiral. There's a interesting drawing of one right here. It's more of a de decorative element. So sometimes you make a spiral, you have a hook on the other end, and it's a way that you could have it hang from thread. Um, it would hang opposite. All right, so in order to do these three different things, uh, you need some different tools. So first of all, jump rings. You're gonna make three of them you can use what are called jump ring makers here. So if you notice, they are cylindrical shapes. If you don't have one of these, you just need something that is round. Uh, but they make different shapes and sizes and they're tapered so you can kind of pick what size you need. I have some wire. I also have some snips that will help me with the wire. Uh, and since you're making three, you wanna have a bunch of wire that you can use for this. So I'm gonna cut off maybe five inches. All right, I'm gonna pick this middle one to use, one of these middle ones. When I'm wrapping it around uh, to make my jump rings, I wanna make sure I have a little bit extra off to the side. So I'm saving about an inch. Now I'm wrapping it around tightly, trying to keep them together. And then once I finish that part, just kind of wrapping the ends as I can, I can pull it right back off. And now I have, it looks like a spring all stuck together. Now at this point, I could take my saw and slice all down, and then I would have uh, all of those jump rings released, or you can use your snips too. So I'm gonna go to right about this area, and I'm gonna snip all of them. Your snips aren't really strong enough to do one at a time, or to do them all at once, so you have to do one at a time. So I'm just snipping each one about in the same location. And when I drop them on the page, I have one, two, three. This last one, if I really wanted to make it into a jump ring, I probably could. I would just need to use my pliers to bend it. All right, last thing I need is a steel block. Steel block is how, and the steel hammer, this is how we can flatten these out. It also makes them a little bit stronger. So I'm just going to take it, just hit on it a little bit. Depending on what shape you want, if you want them to look more angular or have texture, you can do more hammering. Uh, but it basically work hardens them so they're stronger. All right, so I would put those three on the page. Let's talk about S-hooks, which are next. So an S-hook is just another way to attach your pendant to thread. I'm gonna take maybe about an inch this time. Okay, And I'm going to make a hook in one direction and a hook in the other direction. For this one, we're gonna use your round pliers. So remember, they have two rounded ends. I'm going to, if I want a bigger loop, I can hold it down here. If I want a smaller loop, I can hold it down there. I'm gonna go kind of in the middle, holding it just about at the end. I'm gonna take my thumb and push it around and turn the tool. So if you look, now I have it touching where it began. Now to make it like an S, I need the other loop going in the other direction. So I'll grab the other end, about the same thickness. If you want the loops different sizes, sometimes you do want that, you might hold it in a different part of your plier. And now I'm going to take my thumb and bend it in the other direction. With the goal being that your ends touch that wire uh, in the center. So if you need to readjust, you can do that. Same thing as before, putting it down, hammering, done. All right, next up, we're gonna talk about the spiral. Once again, I'm gonna use my round pliers. Uh, and you can make either really tight spirals or you can make really small spirals that, are, um, that have extra space, negative space. So here I'm gonna start with a loop right at the end. Okay, if I wanna make this a really tight spiral, meaning it has no negative space, I can take my flat pliers and I can go to that loop and basically try to close it off as much as possible. So now if you look, there's no real space inside of it. Now I can hold it. 
think like these are the buns of a hamburger. Here's the meat, putting it inside. And then I'm bending it around, slowly holding it, turning. And you can see I'm getting a nice tight spiral. Now if I wanna have a hook on the other end so I can hang it, I can go back to my round pliers, can make a hook on the other end. Okay, same thing, I can use the steel block. If I wanna do a loose spiral, same thing, some wire. The difference would be you can do that all with your round pliers. So I'm starting with a loop at the end, not closing it entirely. Now I'm just going to grab it at different places and slowly start bending it. So if you notice, I'm keeping about the same distance all the way through. And then same thing if I wanted to create a loop on the other end, I could. There's your more loose spiral.